There we are. Hi, everyone. Whoops, no. Hi, everyone. Uh, let's see, let's get my live chat up. Hi, Jill. How's it going? Oh, my gosh. So we're going to um, have a book to share first, and I'll share some of Jane's new things, and then we're going to do some art journaling with the... Hi, Patty. Hi, Dor. With the Stamparia's new Kelt... Kelt? I'm not sure how to say that. Collection. But... Um, so I'm going to work in my black journal, which I haven't done in a while. So we'll see how it goes. Hey, Phoebe. So I'll share that in a minute. So let me do, uh, I have one book sh I wanted to share with you that I got. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> um, I had watched Colleen's and I think it was Colleen or Kathy and Colleen on Tuesday. And they were sharing their um, book. It was called 5,000 Flowers Doodles or something like that. Purpleina, welcome. Haven't seen you. How have you been? Um, and when I went to look it up, of course, it's out of print. And I usually get my books at um, Abe thrift, thrift stores. The one book was $741. Then the second one, I think it was like 400 and something. So I don't know if those girls know how priceless the, that book is that they have. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. And the thrift store, $741. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, Joy. Um, so anyway, so I wound up getting this book um, this week. Um, I don't know. If that's, this is kind of like how to draw little inky wonderlands, doodles. Aw. Oh, well, that's terrible. Well, I hope you're home now. Feeling better. Getting better. So this one, uh, I'll just flip through it a little bit. Um, I like it because it's, um, you know, good for fairies and stuff like that. So it just has some cute little doodles in it. That. So just the beginning, what, you know, stencil, I mean, what tools you need. Oh, it's cute. I need to make more room. I don't have enough room here. You're not home yet. Oh, that's terrible. Hopefully, you'll be home for the holidays. So, it's a cute little book. So, I like the flowers, of course, and the leaves. Mm, cute. It shows you all the different kinds of doodles. I usually like to do some borders, so that one's really cute. But I really wish I could have gotten the one that uh, Kathy and uh, Colleen got. But I think there's another one that's 4,000, but I don't think it's the same. I want to think it's like animals. It's not really flowers. So, so let's flip through this one really cute. I like this one. You have the book in your cart. Which book is that? This one? This one, How to Draw? Or Because uh, the one that Colleen and Kathy showed, um, you can't even get that anymore. <laughs> nope, I'm going to stay in juice. <laughs> Aw. Hey, Kathy. Oh, she's talking about your book. You're in Colleen's book. Um, I went to look for it. I usually go to Abe's thrift store and uh, 5,000 flowers, whatever it is. In the thrift store, it was $741, the first book. Then the next book, that, and they only had two. The next one was 421 <laughs> So you girls have a, a diamond in the rough there. I wish we could find it. I might have to get you to, we might have to get you to, uh, yeah. we might have to get you to slow uh, do each page so that we could screenshot some of them because you can't get the book anymore. <laughs> You're watching it off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's one, um, eight books. I get all, almost all my thrift books from there. And yeah, 741. Well, that one was brand new and the one that was used was 400 and something. <laughs> Uh, what's the book, Kathy? It's 5,000 How to Draw Doodles or 5,000 Flowers Doodles. Uh, Kathy, maybe she'll put it in the, in the thing. <laughs> it's like, I wish I had that book. <laughs> it's, uh, we'll do some dueling and get it out. <laughs> I love this one, of course, with the uh, mermaid one. I'm going to do some of these. You can see that one there. Yeah, do a flip through for for us so that we could do screenshot. <laughs> You'll do some doodling, yeah. Oh my gosh. 
I did order. I think I ordered the other one though. I think it's four thousand, but it's not flowers. I don't think. I think it's animals. Of course, this one's a little crap. Yeah, wait till Colleen finds out how much that book is. You won't be tossing it around. <laughs> it, it is really, Kathy. I'm gonna have to have you get it for me and send it to me. <laughs> Because we can't even find it. This book, um, yeah, this book, but I'm talking about the book that Kathy and um, Colleen have. The one that has the 5,000, what's it called, <laughs> Kathy? 5,000 something or other. 5,000 flowers and doodles or something. Of course, it's a cute little jellyfish. Yeah, this one is, I think this one, I forget what I paid for this one. I got this one off of either Amazon or Thrift Books. I forget where I get all my books. But yeah, this one's cute though for doodling. I love this one with the little beetle. Cute and cute little mushrooms. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to do my Christmas card today. 5,000. Yeah, flower and plant motifs. Oh my gosh, Kathy, you have to get that for me and send it to me. And I'll send you the money because I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> 5,000. Yeah. Plants is the most right. Right. You have to get that for me, Kathy, and I'll send you the money. Please. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe that they have that there. This one's cute. You should probably get two and sell one. <laughs> you could probably sell it for like $300. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know I'm supposed to do. Here you go, Jim. Look at the cute owl. Cute. I'm hoping to get your stuff mailed out in the next week or two, Joan. It's been like, oh, I wanted to get it out like in November. And then I just couldn't do it. I know that's crazy, isn't it? And that's it, the end. So this is a really cute page. She has, does a lot of, you guys probably have her coloring books. She does a lot of um, coloring. I don't think she has like one in, for Alice. I'm sure Dee Dee probably has some of her, her books. But yeah. But that's just her doodling part, so. <laughs> Cute. All right, so I wanted to share with you Jane's new markers. I think I showed, I didn't get a chance to swap them out because I just got them yesterday. But she already has her, oh, the glare. But these are her new uh, musical markers. And this one's called the Wham Glam Set, <laughs> broad tip. So it's really cute. Um, she's got metallics in this one, which I've never seen. This is a metallic of course the regular silver which she calls kiss metallic uh deaf leopard i think these are all groups I'm not sure now iron maiden and then i think these i forget if the bottom ones are all metallic but anyway so so maybe i'll have to swatch that out after the new year can't see if the glare <laughs> so if anyone on amazon where i tried to look for it dar i couldn't find it couldn't find it at all and then she came out with these cute little sponges i ordered her storage she, of course it has the mermaid scale so you can see that hey book hey eileen <laughs> see it does i when i went on there it was it was set the two that came up was the 741 dollars and the uh and the and that just send me the link if you can <laughs> and then before kathy orders it for me Aren't you? I love her packaging. She always does such cute packaging. Or not these cute, you know, her sponges. We I have her regular sponges. These are cute little heart sponges. Can you see that? It's kind of like it looks red on your screen, but it's kind of like a hot pink red type. But it's got cute little, it looks like little buns. <laughs> what was I drinking? <laughs> I don't know, Eileen. I have to go back on there again because I swear when I saw it, it that I swear I should just pull it up just to show you guys. Let me see if I can find it. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Because I think I did I put it in my cart? I want to see if I yeah, I did. Did I? Hold on. Hold on one second. No, I didn't put it in there. I would have to be crazy to put it in there for $741. <laughs> uh, let me see. Hold on. 5,000. What's it called? 5,000 flowers. 
plant motifs. Oh yeah, there it is. Well, where was it before? All right, so don't order it from me, Kat. I can order it through um, Ape. But there was, we'll see here. There you go. There's one for 152. Can you see it? Of course, I don't have a focus. This one says 152. This one says 167. There's the one. Can you see it? $741. I don't have auto focus on. Hold on. I know I wasn't crazy. <laughs> Hold on. Come on, focus. There you go. There it is. $741.68. <laughs> Get it now. I think there's only one left. Oh my gosh, I can't because I don't have it on my phone. I don't mean I'm not signed up on my phone. I have to do it when I get off, darn it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, so those are her cute little sponges. And I did get some of her storage. But I had ordered, she has a stadium seat storage. I don't know what happened. I can't order it now. I have to go on my other computer. <laughs> Nobody go over there and snatch it before I can get it. <laughs> oh, I can. <laughs> I can really... All right, so so this is what we're going to do today. Oh, I have something. Hold on two seconds. Just fast forward. <laughs> two seconds if you're watching on YouTube. I have to uh, get my other thing I wanted to do. Hold on. Yeah, when I looked on that, ape, it, those other ones didn't come up. So I'll have to. I'll have to rush over there when I get off and do it. Hold on. All right, so this is the Stamperia Kilt. I don't know how you say it, Kilt Collection. But I did some of these um, from their soft molds. So I wanted to, actually, I wanted, it's a good thing you're here, I mean, because I am going to use Antonius's um, oil. I haven't used it since the last time I think you told me about it. <laughs> Aren't these cute? I did this with the cream paste. So you can see it's really, I like it because you can bend these. They're really nice. I only had a little bit left, so I went just doing a little bit. And then, I love, this is a lady we're going to try to do today. That one. Right. Focus. Come on. Oh my gosh, I just had it. There we go. If you haven't seen, you love his stuff, we're going to do um, one of these. I don't know which one we'll do. I thought maybe I would do. I don't know about this one. And these are all the little things that go with it. But oh, this one. I want to do. This one is so cool. Can you see that one? So if we do that one in the gold, or if we should do, well, maybe I think we'll do that one. These things were a pain though to, uh, I think I needed to put more paste in the molds, these little swirly things to get out. Oh my gosh, there's Lena. Oh my gosh, I was gonna do my Christmas cards. I don't know if they're gonna get done this year. <laughs> and once I saw your thing, uh, your folder that you did, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to play with mine. <laughs> and then here's some other ones. Maybe we'll do that and we'll do this one. So we'll do that first because we'll need uh, for it to time to dry. So let me move these over. If you didn't get a chance to watch, I didn't get to watch your other one today, but her uh, her second video, I think, second to last, she'll go towards the end. Hi, April. <laughs> um, and she's got a great folder. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's huge. And I love your tree in the background. Now, did you use uh, gold foil or did you use like a tricolor? That looks so cool. So I'm going to do that today too. Um, so we'll either do the gold. So we're going to do this one and we'll do this one. So we'll have, we need to, for time to dry, I think. But yeah, but I love using that cream paste because it makes the mold. And it, this one is not too thick, which is nice. Yeah, I love her cute little, her folders are so nice. Just like Kathy Arbor. Kathy Arbor has some cute 
cute, cute, cute folder. I wind up looking at Kathy's, um, her little elf um, painting. Oh, I want to do that, but I just don't have the time to do it yet. Hi, Janet. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play with this. We'll just paint it up really quick. And then I can put Antonius's um, oil on there. So let's see, I need a brush. I think I would have one like at the ready, all the brushes I have. <laughs> oh, come on. Let me see. Where are my chain brushes? All right, hold on. I got to go. I guess I have to get one. You know what? I'll just do it with this. Let's just do it with this and I can wash it off. Maybe I'll do it with the white one. So let's just paint these up and then we can do really fast the, uh, let's see how this works. So I think I need to let have time this for this to dry. I might have to put another coat on it. But um, I'm trying to think what else I did get. Um, I'll have to show you the stencils. The stencils is, to this collection is really nice. I think we'll have to do two coats on this one. There we go. Let that dry and then come back with it. Is Colleen here? Oh my gosh, Colleen, you missed my whole saga about your flower book. <laughs> On Abe's book, it was $741. And then um, the second one was like $400 and then $152. Um, and then the girls just found it for $18, I think. So I have to, as soon as I get off, I'll have to go get it. <laughs> I showed another one you would probably like. So you'll have to go back and look in the beginning. I'm gonna have to be careful with the with these. Uh, don't panic about the book. I just signed up for the Ava account and ordered it. Oh, thank you very much, Patty. <laughs> that was very nice. Thank you. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh. I can't believe they actually had one on there. I love this one. This is a lady that you did, um, Lena. I really love her. She's got the one with the square head. Can you see it? It's got like a square head. <laughs> oh, how cool. I'm excited. All right. So I'm not going to worry about these things too much. But I like what I like about it. It's so nice and thin. It's almost thinner than um, a die cut chipboard piece. So it'll go nice in the book. So, all right, so let's do this one more time. Then we'll let that dry. Hi, Dee Dee. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I um, was just showing them their book, uh, my book. I'm sure you have the coloring books of hers. And I don't know if you know if she has um, a doodle book. But this one, I'm sure you have coloring books of hers. But I actually have bought this book. It's really cool. It's got a lot of sea things in it like oh let me turn the autofocus off hold on there we go but if you didn't get a chance to see lena's um folder on this oh it's so nice my gosh lena i have been aching like the last couple months whatever and haven't done half of what you do <laughs> and you're just as achy as I am <laughs> you do so much art I can't get over it all right so we'll let this dry for a few minutes and then we'll come back to it and then we'll put Antonio's paste on there Barbara Christmas books to give away. And so look forward to the book I showed you, the Galaxy one, the Galaxy Girls and the Zodiac signs. That's on the way to you. 
So I'm hoping you should get it. I think she said um, like the 27th or something like that. So, and that's coming, I think it's coming from Poland. I forget where it's coming from. But that's a little thank you for, Dee Dee always does such a nice um, shout out for the shop for me. Oh, and by the way, the holiday, I'm going to be putting up some more holiday sales um, today and tomorrow. So keep checking every day because I put out different things. So, all right, so we're going to let that dry for a little bit. Yeah, I really like that one, the Galaxy, especially I know you would like the Galaxy ones. And then I love the... Um, the Zodiac ones, that's really cool. <laughs> so, Patty is the queen of people, she is. All right, so we'll let that sit aside and then we'll go, remind me to go back to this like in 10 minutes and we'll do Antonio's paste on there. All right, so I wanted to show you some of the stencils that come with that line. I really like that, co this collection. Um, and it has background paper too. They didn't make the background paper in the eight by eight, which I was surprised. So you're not old enough to. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you only work three days now before you worked every single day, including the week. Oh, that's why. But still, you do a lot. <laughs> like I've been so achy like the last couple of days. Like I still don't have my tree up. I usually have my tree up right after Thanksgiving. My Christmas cards go out the first week of December. None of that has happened. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Look how cute these um, stamps are. The tree. Yes, yeah, so I'm closing my shop uh, January 30th. So, but check every day, like I said. Oh, this one doesn't belong there. But that's um, her new one, if you saw that one. Um, I love this one. Lena did a blue dress that has similar designs to this. It really came out cool. And there's this one. So I think we're going to use this. I love this one with the eyes. This one I thought about you, Patty. You probably would like something like this. You love this one? I'll, send, I'll save you one. I'm out of stock, but I have three more coming. So um, I'll, I'll save you one. <laughs> Yeah, I love this one. Especially this reminds me of like Egypt with the eyes and then the moons with the galaxy. It's cool, isn't it? I like this one a lot. Um, all right, so. And then this is a paper. You've seen Dee Dee, she shared the paper. But they also have a background, but it doesn't come in the eight by eight. So I'll show you that. So this is a... Oops. It's just all the background paper. You can see that. I only got two of the tissue papers, the ones with the girls in it, and they're already gone. So, but then here you could see, like I love this one. This one right here with the different patterns. You can see that there. So cool. So I'm excited to see what Dee usually makes a whole big folder book of um one. But I like Lena's idea about doing the individual um, artist. So she does an individual artist for um, each. Uh, she does a, a, a folder for each artist, what I should say. All right, so we're going to use this one. So let me take this one out. Oh, scissors. Yeah, I think tonight I'm going to put up some of the old Stamperia winner. So like it, it's a bundle. I call them mixed media bundles because it really it has a little bit of everything in it. So you really have to look at the picture to see everything that's in there. Um, so ah. like I have the winter tails, and so that comes with the pad, chipboard, I think stencils, rice paper. I should have brought one up to show you, but you can check it out. I don't have it listed yet anyway. So all right, we're gonna use this one. Before we do that, we'll do Antonio's thing before we get into the, into that. All right. One of the, uh, I may use the eyes. We'll see. I like that one. This one. Oh, and it does have material. I actually got this off of Etsy. We'll open that up and see. I think it comes with all the three kinds of materials, but I only bought this one. I'll show you that. 
So this, oh, it has four of them. I thought it was only two. Oh, look how cute. It comes with a little paper. So I thought maybe I would do, I don't know. I'd like to do maybe a paper doll, you know, one of those uh, paper dolls. So there's that one. It's cute for journal uh, cover. Love the fabric. <laughs> yeah. And I think there's others. These are just four that I picked, but I think there's other fabric like that. There's that one. This reminds me of you, the borderline here, <laughs> Patty. There's that one and that one. I love this one too with the roses. I like that one. I guess it goes either way, but Isn't that cool. I don't. Uh, I think um, Lena said he does a lot of landscapes too. I don't, I'm not really into landscapes, but um, I love this one. You'll love this one, Patty. This is definitely you. It is yummy fabric. Look at this one. And Patty just did something with foil with this kind of like circle of thing. Like this one you could do, Patty. Like when, if you watched Patty's stream earlier, um, those things remind me of gemstones. Like, you know, when you crack a stone and you see the middle of like an amethyst, that's what your, um, your things are. But look at, Patty, if you did some type of crackle, I don't know if you could crackle in there, you know? Yeah, it's part of the tree. But um, wouldn't that look something like Patty if you can get, uh, I don't know how you would do the crackle. Maybe you did some type of uh, resist. I don't know if you could put something down, like a wax, maybe, like a wax. Uh, yeah, geo. Yeah, right. Yeah, or right, right, right. If you did um, like those crayon waxes, maybe, and did like a crackle thing, and then put your watercolor down. I don't know. I think it would be cool. But anyway, so that's the fabric. And like I said, there's other ones that they make, but these are the ones I got. Maybe crackle first. Yeah, I don't know. Something you could play with, around with. All right, so we're going to do it. So let's do that first because uh, we just have to check it out. Now, I don't know if I need a cloth. I probably should put another coat, but we're just going to go with that. All right, let me get my paste. I might be able to crackle since it's pigmented. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Something, but that would be another cool technique for that. Patty's been doing stuff on Yupo paper. Oh, hold on. I should have brought it out. Let's see. I don't have any. Do I think I need a cloth with that? I think I could just use a. Um, might be able to crackle since pigment. Yeah, I don't know. Something to play with. <laughs> Cloth. I guess I'll just use a baby wipe, see how that works. Now, I haven't used this in so long, so I think I have to leave it on here, right, Eileen? Leave it on for a few minutes? I don't really remember. Oh, if I can open it. All right. Let's see how it goes. Um, I don't, do I can I put it on with this and maybe take it off with a baby wipe? I want to see if I have anything dry that I can sponge it on. If I could sponge it on with something, let's see. I don't have to use my fingers. Let's try that. I'll just use this. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> See how it goes. Paint it on, leave it on for a minute, and then, okay. Well, I'll use this spongy thing, say how that works. Because I want to get it all in the nooks and crannies. Ew. They actually had Antonius and um, 
your scrapbooking store. I think two weeks ago, Eileen, because she had told, Michelle had called me. Well, she called me. She emailed me, and I wanted to know if I could still come. Of course, I told her I couldn't because I still had problems with my ankles then. But um, they looked like they had a good time. I watched some of it on her Instagram. Paper towel. Well, I thought we'll see how it goes with this. Huh. Just move. Let's see. I think I moved it. All right. So we got that. I'll do one at a time. And then this isn't really, does it have to be wet? I don't really have that. This is not really wet. It's like dry. Oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, he was there. Did you go actually go into the store and get to see him? <laughs> into the shop? It's nice. I like the way it, you can see the difference between the goals, the two goals. It actually dulls it down a little bit, which I don't, I don't mind. Oh, see, now I took a little bit too much off there. No, dry. Okay, good. This one, this one's really basically dry. Oh, that one's cool. So there you go. So there's that. It's kind of antique -y. So we did that one. Like I said, it's paper thin. So you can see. See how thin that is? So it's really not going to leave much, um, much on there. All right. Let's do the other one. While we have this out. This one has cool patterns. It's got like the eyes in her dress. I like this one a lot. I might have to cut all that swirly stuff off. We'll see. Those are going to be a pain. <laughs> Looks good. Thanks. Yeah, I was debating whether to do um, the stencil when we do the journal page in gold foil or gold paint. But I think I'm going to do it in a foil. All right there. I mean, he really lays it on to some of it. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna pull this off. Maybe not. Yeah, well, that's all in there. Might have to use a new one for uh, for this. We'll see. Um, leave that there. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> hey, Joyce. Anybody else I missed? All right, so let's see. Uh, start here. Like, I love this pattern. I think it would be cool for an Egyptian page, too, you know? Just the pattern of that with the triangles. Like a pyramid. And then you could take off as much as you want. 
all of that all of her face take a little bit more off of her face there There. I like that. I forget. Do you remember, Eileen, how long he says this takes to dry? I wonder. There we go. Let me that out. And there you can see that one. I love that one. And then I could always go back over and touch this up just the top of, you know, like the um, the little swirls with some gold. If I had uh, Finnabar's ink out, that's what I would do. I would go back over the top of this. Not too long. Okay, good to know. So, yeah. So, these are really cool. I can't wait to use them on a, a page. So, thanks. All right. Let me just clean my hands. And then we'll do... Uh, page i have the same problem with you patty my chair like the hydraulics must be must be losing every time i um i sit down i have to like it just slides me all the way down the pain all right so i don't even know if you can get this anymore this vintage paste that's what i use from stamperia and it's a huge tube i would imagine it would last like forever <laughs> Just wash my hands. All right. So I think I'm going to use Finnabar's. Uh, I tried to look for my deco foil. Of course, I couldn't find it. Whoops. Uh. <laughs> That's funny. Thanks, Lena. All right, I'm gonna take most of this off and get it off. I think I need a little bit more. My baby wigs are really dry. Yeah, pull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I have to get ready. So I won't be um, streaming anymore until probably January, middle of January. Gabby's coming home uh, next Saturday. And uh, like I said, I have so much to do still. Plus, I'm trying to get rid of stuff in the store. So, it's a lot. <laughs> a lot when you're not feeling that great. <laughs> All right. All right. I might need another. So, I didn't have done too much in this journal. Let me see. I've done this. The Jellyfish Girl. <laughs> um, I've done this one. These are with some of Jane's packaging. And I think, I think I have one more after that. Uh, this one. If you remember this page? I did, I'm pretty sure I did this one on stream. That one. So I thought, now this is a stem. I'm going to use, I don't really want to draw a girl or draw. So I'm going to use this. This is a stencil from um, uh, Gulf Sprite on YouTube. I'm hoping she comes out with some more of her girls. I really like her little girls. Uh, I need a... Oops. I'm looking for another spongy thing. Here we go. So I'm trying to think what we're going to do. 
because I want her hair and all of that to be black. But of course, you love that? Yeah, that's her one of her um, her girls. She's coming out, I think, with three or four girls like similar to this. Um, so I hope she does soon. Um, I'm trying to think because I want we're going to do everything gold in the background, the little swirls or whatever. But um, her hair is black, her eyes, but we want to make her, I think I'm going to come in with um, tan first. If I do that, I think I need to paint her tan and then come back and do the eyes and stuff in black. I think that's what we're going to do. So. <laughs> Brenda, you missed Gold Sprite. I don't see her. She's going to be I'm posting a video this, I think, next week. I think she said. Um, and then hopefully in that video, I'm hoping, is her girls, uh, her girl stencils. She's um, left Patreon. Well, you have to join uh, if you want to be with, um, to watch her. She's on Discord. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Discord, um, but that's what she's on. All right, so we need a sponge. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, we'll do it beige first. And then um, come over in the black. We'll try that. Uh, you watch an older video from Cece painting with the Christmas trees. Oh, and yes. Oh, you did? Yeah. I saw it. I have it. I'll ship it out tomorrow. I'll have to send you a sample of the sun gold, too. If you watch Patty, not Patty. <laughs> well, Patty, yes. She has the rose gold. But Kathy Arper, she always uses the uh, sun gold for wings. It's really pretty. So I'll send you a little sample of that tomorrow all right so i'm going to actually do this so we want her let's put her over to the way to the left i probably should tape this down so it doesn't move on me uh do i have washi tape cc mm -hmm. did you have you seen cc what she's done lately patty I went to Kramer to order, um, I don't know if you have the Sterling. It's called Sterly, Sterling, Sterling, Sterling something pigment from Kramer. So she used it in, I want to say her last, and it was maybe not her last video, but she used it with um, something like I did with the Boca, like we did last week. And then what she took, she took half the um, Sterling pigment and half water, so half sterling pigment, half water, and then she created snow. It looks so good. It almost looks like um, Paul Rubin's glitter paper. Um, it's really nice. So check that out if you didn't have a chance to see CC. But I think that's on C that part is on CC's uh, Patreon. Because CC's on Patreon. All right, so I want to keep this down. Yeah, I don't know if you have that sterling. It's really nice. If you go to her last, her last, last upload, <laughs> I can't talk. Her last upload on her Patreon, it's in there. Hi, Jamie. I'm getting out your die cut tomorrow. I'm sorry about that. I sent her the wrong ones. But thank you so much for the other. That was very nice. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're going to do this first. So let me see. I really want, I don't really care about her hair being, oops, wow, I probably put too much on here. Ugh. I really should have just dabbed it in. Well, I hope I didn't mess up that eye. <laughs> it's just so I have an idea where, I should have just put this on. Here first. And we're going to come back over this anyway, so this doesn't really matter. It's just so that I have an idea where she's going to be. Oh, 
Ugh, I have a feeling I went underneath there. Darn it. Because this is going to be black too in the end. Her hair is black. So. Hopefully. Ugh, I did mess it up a little bit. But we're going to go back over it, so. I'm thinking, though, I'm thinking her whole face has to be beige, right? Because we're going to come in with the black. Uh, yeah, because her eyes and stuff are going to be black. Yeah, so I think the whole thing has to be. <laughs> I hope I don't mess this up. The whole thing has to be beige, her face. I probably should have left the stencil on there to put it back. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. See what happens. So I'm just going to cover her face. I'll leave that little black line in there and see what happens. Because this is going to be all black. So let's see. I want a picture of that girl. Where is she? Is she in here? Yeah, there she is. Let me take her out. Does anyone know if Skillshare now is requiring an annual membership? Yeah, I think you... But some places, if you go on somebody's video, they, like, offer free... Like a three-month free or something like that. But, yeah, I think you need membership. Because I stopped doing it because they wanted me to do the whole membership. So, I'm not on Skillshare anymore. This one. So this is a girl we're going to kind of do. So I want her hair to be kind of similar to that. So let's see. I'm just doing a basic outline. Let's see how it goes. Because we'll have to come back in here anyway. All right. All right. So that's what we'll do. All right, so now what we'll have to do is what I want to do is now take that stencil, this one. And that's a lot of hmm, a lot of gold. Maybe we'll do half and half or something like that. Let me see what other stencils we got. Oh, you know who else who has stencils? Oh, I wonder what I did with those. Um could probably use those if I could find them. Hold on. Joggles also has stencils of the same type of collection. Now, what did I do with them? That's the question. Hold on one second. Let's just see if I can find them. Just fast forward if you're on YouTube there. Just fast forward. Oh, yeah, there we are. Go. All right, so these are from oh, what is it? Elizabeth St. Clair, St. No, Elizabeth St. Hillary. So she also has a collection of um, this kilt um, uh, guest. So I'll just show them to you really quick. So there's this one. I'm trying to think what we can do in the background that won't be take forever. Is that one? This one might be cool. I'm thinking I might need the jelly plate for that. Let's see. There's this one. I like this one a lot. This one's cool too. I like that. I like this one also. But I'm thinking if I do that, I'm going to have to do the reverse. You know what I mean? Because I want it to be gold foil on there. Hmm. There's also this one, this one, I think there was a set of, I don't know, 10 or something. 
so let's see. So let's see. If we were to do this, we would leave the black. So what do you think? Should we leave the black or the gold? I can't decide what I want to do. I really want gold foil. It looks so cool. I forgot to look, Lena. Did you say to use just one color gold or did you use like a tri-color gold? Um, I kind of like that. Maybe put this in back of her and then do this on the one page. Maybe that's what we'll do. But I'm thinking, how am I going to put this on there? Because I want this to have the transfer of gold. You know what I mean? The transfer of paper, whatever you want to call it. So we'll have to, can we sponge that on there and then flip it on here? I don't know. <laughs> you did some of those. You saw the kid. You did. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure out how I would get the gold. Because I want this that you see white. I want it to be gold. So how would I do that? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> I want... I'm thinking I would have to put that on here and then stamp it like that, like a stamp. Yeah, these are from Joggles. Um, uh, what do I want to do? How am I going to do that? I probably should have paint the whole page gold, right? Paint the whole page gold and then come over with the black. I think that we have to do, right? Right. If I paint the whole page gold and then put this over on top, come over with the black. The Tree of Life was done with Cosmic Shimmers. Oh, it was Cosmic Shimmers. But that's the one that has like three or four different colors. It's not just a gold, right? Because I have, I don't think I have cosmic shimmers, but I have, um, I think, bars gold. One that's like a patina and stuff. Oh, this chair is driving me crazy. Hold on. I have. So I have this one with the gold. And then I've got this one. This one's got like patina in it. See it there? Multicolor, right. So that is that one. Here we go. Oh, this is Cosmic Shimmer. Duh. <laughs> cosmic Shimmer. That's this one. This one's got a more reddish gold to it. Oh, do I have the other one? This one, I think. This one here, this one is mullet wine. Oh no, that's got more kind of a, still kind of, it's not really like silver and gold, you know what I mean? Which one is this one? Gemstones. Oh, maybe I would use the blue one, the patina one. <laughs> Oops. The resin gold is the one I have. The reddish gold. So the reddish gold. This one? Autumn leaves? Or let me see. This one is. Maybe it's this one. The wine one. Gemstones. That's kind of more reddish gold, I think. Yeah. No? Nope. <laughs> reddish gold. The mold wine. I don't know. Whatever. Well, like I said, what I think I have to do is paint. I don't know how I'm going to get that. Do not use that if you have a cold. <laughs> no. uh, so how did you lay it down then? Did you just paint with the... Um, did you just paint it? I wanted to run it through with stencil, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. You know? Let's see what Lena said. Ah! Oh, look what I just did. 
Well, that's not going to come off. <laughs> Darn it. That's why I need to put stuff away. Darn. Oh, maybe it will come off. I don't really care about their hair too much. Darn. <laughs> I'm using the Gilly Fungs to use a cosmic shimmer glitter glue. So then you hand drew the tree? You must have. There we go. We got that off anyway. Uh, what did I do with that little... Because now I have it, of course, everywhere. <laughs> no, don't fall back down. <laughs> oh, it's on top of here. No wonder. Take you back to the annual sign-up party. All right. So, hold on. I'm going to get rid of that paper. <clears throat> I want to hit there's a sponge. <clears throat> and I want to put I want do want to get her face and her neck back dark again. So Yes, you did. You hand drew it. Oh, of course she did. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> I want to get her neck too. I'll paint this down here or something goldish. There. Uh, Yeah, she is, isn't she? Oh my gosh, she's so good. Okay, so that doesn't just solve my dilemma here. <laughs> Since I want the design to be in gold, how do I do that? You know what I mean? I don't want to waste this paint, so let's just keep going. Okay, that doesn't matter there. Uh, let's be. <laughs> All right, I'll get this out of the way now. How am I going to get this gold, girls? I don't know how to do that. Because I want to put the gold foil on here. Help me. <laughs> Help me. How do I do it? If we were to put... I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I need an opposite stencil. I need an actual, what do you call it, stencil. I can't use these. What I need is the other part, the negative part. So I have to do something like this, I believe. It's how good to paint the page gold, right, and then use, right. But then how would I use um, my gold foil? Like, how would I put these flakes on here? The only thing I could think of if I was to huh, 
I think what I have to do is paint the page like a yellow color, like it is in the paper. What did I do with the paper now? And then come back with the stencil. Hold on, I'm stuck here now. <laughs> So I need to I need to make the paper see if I wanted to do that, I probably shouldn't have picked the black journal. <laughs> uh, you can paint gold and then stencil black, right? That's what I'm thinking I have to do. Unless you hand draw around the mask and then glue inside. Oof, yeah, I don't know about that, <laughs> CB. <laughs> With all the stuff I have to do right now. See, it would be cool with this. I wonder if we should just rip up some of this. Like, I really love that. That's what we need to do on here, but in gold. So I'm thinking. Hmm, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> ah, I probably should have done it on white paper first. So, so that idea that I want is probably not going to work. So what shall we do instead? Maybe, let me see. What, so I didn't bring out any paint because I didn't think I was going to use paint today. <laughs> um, I think I need to paint the... Um, you've got a gold metallic pen. You can get along all the way with the swirls. This is true. It would take me like forever to do that with this paint. Oh, I don't know what to do. I think we need to paint the background <laughs> blue. What is this? Let's try this. Maybe what I'll do is I will. Huh? it. I'll have to look, save my metallic idea for another day, I think. <laughs> I think we'll just have to go with something something else. Okay, there we go. So I think I'm just gonna just come over to this. Is that the way I want it? that way we'll come over this with just the blue background and that's what we're gonna do let's see how that looks <laughs> we'll do that first <laughs> all right so i'm definitely gonna have to glue this down i wish i had my pixie spray which of course is not here because i didn't expect, <laughs> I didn't expect to do that so let's just glue this down metallic watercolor mm -hmm. oh the wall don't be there. Don't be there. Let's just do this. We'll do the blue, and then this is a blue metallic, and then the black will show through, and then I will decide what to do after that. <laughs> we will glue on the matte medium, but then matte will kill the shimmer true. What happened to this now? Oh my goodness. Where's the beginning? Oh, I'll pick another one. Use a glossy medium. I'm going to do this first. Glue that on there. We'll have to move, remove some of this washi tape when we get towards the bottom. Just see what happens. All right, oh, I need another sponge. I'll 
do this. Do I have another sponge? I have no idea what my other sponge is. I do have this, though. You have this? I use this. <laughs> Town pen. Blah, blah, blah. Just go back to read the chat. The flakes. Two gel medium. Yeah, we'll have to. I'll have to do this again on a white background and <laughs> see if I can achieve what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right. Um, let me get my little book. All right, let's see how this works. Cross your fingers. Let's put this on here. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Might work well, then I would have a gel paste. <laughs> Oops. Of course, my book is falling. Then, if I wanted to, I could probably take a gold pen, like CB said, and then put the gold on here. <laughs> Just read it. Joe plate, right? Right, that's what I was thinking too. I think I needed a gel plate to put the gold and then put the gel, whatever. <laughs> oh, didn't quite think, think it through. But I think the jelly plate, yes, would be the way to go. Then I could put that and then use it like a stamp. Right. Uh, this off of here. Let me just do this. I'm going to do this now. Gold embossing powder. <laughs>
Alrighty. There we go. <laughs> Right, we got that down. Now I'm going to use this one for her hair. <clears throat> I'm going to move my book over. I don't want to get any any on that. So let me put the tape on this one. I can actually tape it on her here. Tape it in her hair. We're not going to get that in there. Um, okay. Ah, that would have been good. I need something to put another piece of tape there. We'll be doing her hair in black, so. Try to be careful not to get it right around her neck. And then this is going to be her hair. Clear gesso. I don't know if those metallic colors would be a good choice for this. Could be. Hold on, I'm not looking at the chat right now. Whoops. And what I want to do is I want to get, uh, I need to sponge a little one. Like that little square sponge. See what I did with it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Because I want to get in between here. Hold on, I'm not looking at the chat yet. I can always go over that in black again, I guess. All right, there we go. <laughs> Too bad. Not what I really wanted, but <laughs> it's metallic y. Oh, my crooked here. There we go. 
Uh, let's stick to clear gesso. There was an adhesive you could put on a stencil that could have been one I'd stick to. Right, that's what I'm thinking. If I used my jelly plate, I don't know. I don't know how that that would act with the jelly plate. So I'm thinking if I did it with, uh, like I originally said, no, I still couldn't do the gold foil. I'll have to figure it out. <laughs> well, let's put her eyes anyway back in here, just so you could see it. Because what time is it? Oh, it's almost time. Um, so you kind of see her, see her go. I'll have to come back with this. One thing I might do though, is I do have, um, I could do it a little bit at a time. And I have Finnebar's, um, I could come in here <laughs> and do it. And then put the gold uh, foil flakes on there. All right, let's see. So we want her, is this it? Yeah. I want this to be, we just want to get her lips and her eyes in black. So now I need some black paint. <laughs> oh, let's see if I need black gesso around. Hold well on. Uh, yeah, I got some. I didn't plan at all to use <laughs> any paint at all. <laughs> I like the metallic though. So if I come in here and then do the tricolor flakes, I think I'm going to come in with this one, the autumn leaves. And that's what I'll do. I'll have to just do it a little bit, a little bit <laughs> by the time I go to uh, with the TV and then see how it goes. All right. So I'm almost thinking if I did it, I wonder if I could do it with this. I don't want it to seep under. So I'm thinking, should I do it with this or the sponge? Maybe the sponge. <clears throat> now I have a gold pen. Maybe we'll just come and I'll put a little bit in there just so that you can, I don't need that much, uh, see what it looks like with the gold pen. <laughs> All right, let's try that. All right. Oh, now, I really want this to be nice and tight. Oh, that looks cute. I'll look in the chat. Hold on. Your fingers. Not bad. <laughs> this thing looks cute, right? So it's not exactly like uh, like his, but um, and then let's finish this. So what we want to do is do the hair. So I want to. And I can come back in here with a, a regular paintbrush later. And get closer up with just, just to pull, like put in her hair a little bit. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> a little bit 
tie her up. Yeah, she looks pretty cute, right? She's super cute. <laughs> bigger hair, yeah. Give her a little bit bigger hair. But I can come back in here. I'll add some gray for some highlights. and She's a good start. <laughs> oh, she's cute. <laughs> All right, so let's see, I do have a gold pen. I might have to come in here and just put that little separation between that one eye because it looks like she's got a black eye. <laughs> uh, let's see, where is my gold pen? I do have this. I wonder how this would work. Remember when um, we used to have the smoochies? Smooch. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. Smooch. Remember those? Let's see if this even works. Oh, yeah, it's hard, though, this little. So let's see. Where do I want to go? So in case I decide I don't want to do this, <laughs> I don't have to do it. Uh, try using the flat glitter C pens from Jane. Oh, that. Yeah, I have that, too. Um, I've got to look for that. I'm trying to think where my other gold pen of hers is. But let's see. So maybe we'll just do the edge here. So this way, if I don't like it, if it doesn't come out good, <laughs> we can change our minds. So let's do that. Oh, it's crooked. Why is my camera so crooked? There. All right. So let's just try this. Can you see that? I'll bring it up closer when I... Get a chance. I mean, it's not the gold foil that I wanted, but it's close enough, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Barb. <laughs> Welcome. We're almost finished for tonight. I'm just testing out. I really wanted to use gold foil, but now I'll have to. Plans have changed. <laughs> I think I have to mix this up. It looks like a little bit watery. All right, let's see. Because this I could do in front of the TV, I guess. I don't mind. It's kind of like fussy cutting, but I don't mind it. And my hand's a little bit shaky, but. So what do we think about doing the whole page like this? I mean, I could probably do one gold. I wonder if I have copper and maybe do like switch from gold to copper maybe. Or this is where, like, Joyce could take my watercolors and come in here or, um, and do the same thing. I don't have my, uh, let's see how this one goes. It's a lot of work. Yeah, but I don't mind it. I mean, it's kind of like doodling, really. You know? Let's see. It would look great, but beyond my practice, <laughs> that's where it's old. <laughs> All right, I got to turn this. Maybe I won't do them all. Maybe I'll just do a couple. I mean, I, I, maybe you take like a half hour. I don't think it would take that long. Do you? But see, if I was going to do this too, then I could actually probably paint on the um, the gel that I wanted to actually make this gold foil, <laughs> you know, 
I mean, if I'm going through all this trouble, what do you think? Should I just paint the gold uh, stuff on here? The transfer gel so that I could do the gold foil? I'll do this one whole row and then you guys let me know what you think. I'm not looking, not looking at chat. Hold on, almost done. How's my head in the way? I hope it isn't. needs to be done a little bit more oh there we go all right all right what do we think well great all right <laughs> So, just move this now. So there is the the trim. There's her. What do you think? I think the gold flaking would adhere to any glue uh, other than well, I have Finnabar's glue that I could do. So I'm thinking, do you like this glue, or do you think it would look better with the uh, the fl the um, gold you know the gold flakes? Up here. Okay, Patty, I'm getting ready to sign off too. So, you do a gold sampler of a gold. I do have one of those pens, but I don't think it's um. What did I do with it? Oh, what do you call it? I also have um. Where is that gold pen? You know, here it is. So I have this one. So let's see what this looks like, and then you guys can tell me. Off. Oh no, I took the whole thing off. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's stuck on there. Of course, I can't get it off. Oh, I also could do gold stickles. Mm -hmm. Gold stickles. <laughs> well, now I have that leaking all over. I pulled it out of the. It doesn't pop out of the thing. Nope. I can't get that off. I have a gold gel pen, but I don't think that would be as nice. There we are. I think you do some of the... Yeah, some of that looks duller than others. Oh, okay. So here's the gold glitters. What do you think about this? There is, can you see that? Uh, there, the gold glitter. Do you like that better? It would be easier to do with the pen, the gel pen, I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know. She's super cute, though. I like the way she looks. <laughs> nope. Not the gel pen. Uh, let's see. Let's just, let's, not that. let's just come in with her gold lips. <laughs> nope, not the gel pen. <laughs> of course, that, that would be the easier thing to do. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Right there. Not glitter. Okay. All right, then I'll have to stick with... Um, I can get this open. This one is really gold. I don't know why it doesn't want to... 
I have to get Jimmy to do it. Oh, it's stuck in there. But anyway, once if he gets that open, I'll try this. I think this would be really good. Good out there. So the paint and then some flakes or both. So maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do the flakes here in the middle and do gold some, uh, somewhere else. How's that? So this will be a work in progress, of course. I thought using the face would be a lot quicker, but still cricket. And then I'll do flakes on her, the bottom of her shirt. So I'll do that. All different kinds of gold. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. So, <laughs> so uh, yes, I do have that. So maybe um, the watercolors would be good on that. So I'll have to try that. I'll have to try that. And then you'll have to just check. I'll post it on Instagram. But um, I, <clears throat> I will see you guys now until after the new year. So. Hope you have a safe and happy new year. Happy holidays. Uh, don't forget to keep checking the store. I'll have sales on, off and on, all through December and January. Um, I'll still be selling the watercolors, um, but I'm just not sure yet. So just email me. We'll get to that when we do February. Um, but definitely, I'll either do it through my blog or I'm not sure yet. So <clears throat> thanks, Joan. <laughs> She's looking cute. I like her. So, um yeah, so be safe and um, yeah, Merry Christmas <laughs> and I will see you in the new year. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, everyone. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Lena, CB, everyone, Dorothy, Joan, and um, I hope the new year brings everyone better things <laughs> than the last two years so we can use it. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, April. <laughs>